hello all my gals, gays, and theys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Spooky Susie Sparkle, and you can call me Susie. And today I'm going to create a honeycomb affected look on my face for one of my Instagram collab groups. I belong to several of these Instagram collab groups. We are very supportive with each other, all of us being mostly small creators. Everyone is so beautiful and so talented, and I like to always try and bring something fun and creative to a lot of the topics and themes that we decide to choose. So if you want to see how I created the beautiful honeycomb drip look that you saw at the beginning of the video, stick around and keep watching. As you can see, majority of the glam part of my makeup look is already done. I have my hair in my cap. I have my contacts in. I used the Jeffree Star Pricked Palette to do the glam eyeshadow look along with the Holograves Cosmetics Shroom Palette. I used the shade Chanterelle for the inner corner. Now I'm going to go back in with the Pricked Palette and start mapping down with eyeshadow where I want the spread of the honeycomb to be on my face. First, I'm going to take the shade Sliver of Sanity here in this top corner, and I'm going to take a fluffy brush and dip it in and map out where on my face the main part of the honeycomb is going to be. As you can see, I've mapped out at least three points right now where I want my honeycombs to possibly be. I've got some going down my forehead. I've got one sort of around my nose area, another along my cheek. These are just mapping bases. Now I'm going to actually take my another stencil from Stencil One FX, and it is a drip stencil. I'm going to use tissue paper and go back into the same shade and stamp the actual base of the drips onto my face. some base drips down. I'm going to go in with my honeycomb stencil and in sporadic areas I'm going to start laying down honeycombs with a very small brush and the Holograves Cosmetics palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Moral and it is like a light brown shade and we're going to use that to map out the honeycombs on my face. Now that we have some of those base honeycomb shapes down, we're going to go back into the pricked palette with that very first yellow that we used and start defining some of the areas where the skin meets the honeycomb, also deepening up the honeycombs on the inside and maybe even adding some more dark yellow drips.
now that I've defined those a little more, I need to reshape and redefine some of the honeycombs. So I'm actually going to go in with my Lunar Beauty Outer Dimensions Face Palette. And there is a very a dark brown shade in there. And I'm going to use that to kind of line and redefine some of the honeycomb shapes and give it even more depth. going to work on some highlighting and lightening certain areas back up and for that I'm going to go into my Araxi Beauty Falling For You palette to this true yellow over here that I really love to use as you can see for any looks that concern yellow. So we're going to go back in with this and lighten up some areas and make some highlights. redefined and brightened up some of the honeycombs I'm going to go in with my Holograve Cosmetics water liner in Pushing Sunflowers it's this really pretty bright yellow and I'm going to brighten things even more by adding and defining to the drips with some wet water liner Now that we have our basic idea of the drips that we're going to do, we're going to go in with our Indie Beat Cosmetics face base and kind of solidify the drips a little bit and blend them in a little bit more to where they're not so watery and opaque looking more like gooey rather than watery.
now that we've made some final definitions going back into the Araxi Beauty palette with this dark brown shade here, I am ready to finish my eyes, my lips, and then add the very final touches to this Queen Bee look. The look is almost complete. We've added a wig, a crown, lips, eyes, everything. All that's left is to use real honey and a dropper to add those finishing touches of sticky goodness. Let's go. Here is the final look. I absolutely love how it turned out. My queen bee look is complete. Sound off in the comments below if you would like to see more tutorials of creative makeup looks using fun things like honey and stencils and anything else maybe that you want to learn, maybe some more simple techniques. Just sound off in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss any time that I upload. Until next time, stay safe.